Hello everybody and welcome to the House of Builds. Today I'm going to show you solar tracking with the IC chip. Now one of the first things I want to cover is power. You definitely need power to run this all. Filter low. By this point you should have batteries and know a little bit about the transformer. It just limits the power you push through so you can move to smaller wires. This is the battery backup with the area power control. It's just nice to have just in case the power goes out or your power runs out on your stationary battery then you're going to need a computer with the IC editor motherboard and then you're going to want an IC housing and an integrated circuit chip now I'll have the steam workshop uploaded with the code and then you just go to here the library and then it'll post rewrite solar tracking is what you're looking for and you just want to load the instructions and I'll load it up and then you just click confirm then you're just going to want to hit the export button and then you're going to want to set the housing so you got the solar sensor is the daylight sensor and then the D1 is any solar panel on the array that way it'll automatically set the hash for the code to work. You need to have both of these set. And then orientation's a big deal. You got to make sure these are set the right way or this will not work. And you're going to want the data ports to be facing sunrise. Right now the sun is waning so it's sunset but this way is sunrise. And then you're going to want the data port on the sensor to face north, which is 90 degrees counterclockwise of the data ports on the solar panels. And that's pretty much the setup. I'm just going to run through the code real quick so people can maybe try and understand to learn the code. The first part is all just the description and how to set up the array. First up is the aliases. You want to do the device setup. This way you can set the screws on the housing. These are the registers for our data. And then down below is that are defined for our park. And this will, you can set a, a label to any number without adding it to a register. If it's a number that's not going to change, just put it under a define. And then we're going to want to load the panel hash from device 1. That's the solar panel, and we're going to read the prefab hash variable. This SDB is for setting stuff to the housing. I was just using it for debugging. Then this SB is send batch, so this is your batch writing, and this is why we needed to load the panel hash, is so that it'll write to all the solar panels on the array. And we'll write a vertical zero to that, and we need a yield. If we're going to write to the same device twice, you need to yield in between the two. Filter low. And we're just going to do horizontal park. So it sets it to that 270. This is the loop. And this will set a spot for the program to come back to. And then we're going to load the daylight with D0 and activate. Now, that'll give a 1 if the sun is up. So we're going to do branch not equal to 0. And so if daylight is not equal to zero then it'll run to daytime loop so if it's a one it'll jump to the daylight daytime loop and if it's a zero it'll read that there's no sun and it'll put it into a park mode so we were just batch writing a zero to vertical and then the park number to horizontal and then we're going to sleep for five seconds and then we're going to load the activate to the D light to see if there's daylight and if there is daylight it'll skip past if there's not it'll skip back two lines that's the, a relative branch so it'll go one two and then it'll do it over again and if it'll keep doing this until it detects sunlight and it'll go down to hereafter and then it'll say that hey it's daytime so we need to run this so we'll yield and then we're going to load the horizontal angle from the solar sensor. And then we're going to batch write it 
to the panels. This is again just for debug and then a yield. And then we're going to load the vertical angle and give it a register. And then we need to subtract. So this will be vertical angle is equal to 90 subtract vertical angle. So this will give it a new vertical angle. And then we need to send that to the debug and then send batch panel hash vertical and then the vertical angle. And then it'll just jump back up to the top when it's all done. Filter low. And it'll check for daylight and if there's no daylight it'll park it. I uh, hope this was useful. Hope you learned something from me explaining the code and uh, thanks for watching. May the Schwartz be with you.